Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Some of you may know that I recently uploaded a video on how to home group without the home group. Uh, basically, we had to figure out a way to share our files from the main computer onto a secondary computer within the house, within the home network, because Microsoft decided to remove the home group feature from the latest April 2018 upgrade. Um, the video was well received. Uh, I ended up getting a lot of likes and I ended up getting a lot of thank you comments, so uh, even some extra subscribers. So thank you so much for liking, sharing and subscribing. It really means a lot to me. Um, I also want to especially thank those people that went out of their way and bought me a cup of coffee through my PayPal link in the description. So many blessings to you people. Thank you so much. Now, a lot of uh, questions that I also had was about how to share a secondary drive within the home network. Uh, obviously, many of you have an SSD drive as your main operating system, and then you hold all your media onto a secondary drive, which is fair enough. And uh, today's video is going to be about how to share your secondary drive within the house uh, with the rest of the devices. But it doesn't stop there because uh, this tutorial will also enable file sharing if you have one of these guys plugged in so it doesn't have to be an internal drive you can have an external drive plugged into your main computer and you can also share the contents of this external drive from the main computer through your network on the secondary computer so without a further ado let's get cracking and let me show you how to share these babies thanks for watching Okay, so the first thing you want to do is uh, go down to the File Explorer icon and click on that. And on the left hand side, find where it says this PC and click on that. Okay, so this is where your drives will be listed, uh, whether they're internal or whether they're plugged in via USB. Um, you will have them here as in D drive or E drive and so on. In my situation, I am going to share the D drive. So go ahead and right click on that and then select properties. Okay, this is the properties dialog. Now I'll be clicking around with a few buttons. So um, at any stage, if this is too fast, you're welcome to pause the video or even slow it down, but it's not that hard at all. So the first thing I wanna do is uh, just go up the top here and click on the sharing tab and uh, in the sharing tab we want to go down to advanced sharing go ahead and click that and then we want to select share this folder so tick that little box there and you also have an option to rename this to whatever you want to make it uh, easier to recognize on the secondary device so I'll be calling this a D drive on desktop and then we click OK. Okay, once we've done that, you'll see that now my drive is shared and the network path is my desktop name and D drive on desktop. So before we go ahead and click on close, what you want to do is you want to set up some security settings. So go and click on the security tab up the top and now we need to add everyone as a user. So go down to where it says edit, go ahead and click that. And then we click on add. Then we click on advanced. Okay. In this section here, click on where it says find now, just there. And on the lower part of the window, you want to look for everyone. Okay, so once you've found it, you click on everyone, make sure it's highlighted, and then we click OK just here. Now you will see object name to select, everyone is selected, and we'll just go ahead and click on OK, and you will see that now everyone is part of the username up here. 
what you want to do next is simply go to where it says full control and right next to that you want to tick on that box to allow full control and then simply click on OK and now you will see that it's setting the security information on all your files. Keep in mind that this could take some time depending on how many files you have within that drive but just be patient and just wait until it's finished and uh, when it is finished um, simply go ahead and click on close and now this drive is ready to be shared on your home network. Um, you will also see a little share symbol there by the two little humans <laughs> right next to that drive. So that's pretty much it. Now what we have to do is uh, go onto my laptop and I will show you how to access that on the laptop. Okay, this is now on my laptop and um, it'll be much easier this time around. You don't have to click too many buttons. All you want to do is just go down to your File Explorer window, uh, sorry, icon, and click on that. And then on the left hand side, you'll see where it says Network. Go ahead and click on that. And uh, this will give me a list of all the devices within my network. And uh, I am simply going to be looking for my main desktop computer, which is the MLR TJNO. And uh, simply double click on this. And you will see now that uh, my D drive on the desktop is visible on the laptop, just here. So now all I have to do is just double click on this and I can access all my files and folders within the D drive that's on the desktop. If I want to go ahead and look at something, for example a video, I'll just click on my videos folder. And uh, now for legal issues I can't really play anything that's not supposed to be played on YouTube. So I'm just going to go to say one of my camera videos. Uh, Go to 2018, I don't even know what I have here, but uh, just for argument's sake, just select that one. And now I'm actually watching um, the video from the D drive on the desktop. So that's pretty much it. Um, if this doesn't work for you, I am going to be including some troubleshooting tips right after this uh, to help you uh, troubleshoot the problems that you may be having while sharing. At this stage you should be able to access your drive from your desktop or main computer onto a secondary laptop or device within the house, uh, especially if you followed the instructions on my previous video which was the home group without home group. Um, however, if you haven't watched that video yet, you can go ahead and watch it. But if not, uh, I'll show some troubleshooting tips on my next bit coming up. Okay, so here's some troubleshooting tips that um, will help you along the way if um, your drive hasn't shared. The first thing you want to do is uh, click on the start button and then you just go up to settings. And uh, within the settings you click on network and internet. And uh, just under network status, you want to make sure that your network is set to private. Uh, this is applicable for both computers or all computers within the network. So uh, you just want to go ahead and click on change connection properties. And just make sure that you're set to private on all your devices or computers within the house. Once you've selected private, get out of that and go down to status and you want to click on sharing options. Now within the sharing options, you want to make sure that turn on network discovery is selected, followed by the ticked box in turn on automatic setup of network connected devices. Below that under file and printer sharing, you want to have that turned on as well. So make sure that's turned on. And scrolling down when it says all networks, just expand that and uh, don't worry about the public folder sharing so much. Uh, leave this on 128-bit encryption, but scroll down and make sure that uh, turn off password protected sharing is selected. This is very important that this is turned off. So once you've turned that off, you can go up to choose media streaming options. 
and uh, all the devices that are within your home network will be listed here including your smart TVs and media players or Android boxes uh, so what you want to do is just make sure you click on allow all and then select OK at this stage I'm pretty certain that drive will be accessible everywhere within the house but if that hasn't happened and you're still having problems then what you want to do is go to services the easiest way to get to services is just in the Cortana search box here type in services and then click on the services app which will give you a list of all the services available on the system and uh, what you want to do is go down to FFF function discovery I'll just make that a little bit bigger function discovery resource publication now double click on this and make sure you set this to automatic or you can either set it to automatic delayed start and then make sure that this service is started so you click on start and then we click on OK at this point the drive should be accessible to all the computers within the house if they haven't if you're still having more problems let me know in the comment below and uh, I'll do my best to try and help thanks for watching